fantastic. Pilings, Crazy Joe and Dave. Uh, it's another week, completely different week. Completely different week. We came back. We put on the exact same clothes. Same clothes. Wash uh, them. I don't. Down want, by you wash yours. You down, wash yours. Down at the stream. Oh, I just throw mine in the trunk of my car. I just bang it on some rocks. Yeah. Well, you know, I will change my glasses though. I got my Cookie Monsters on what? right now. C Clark. What? What? No. Clark. No. You're Superman. Not. No, oh. I'm wearing my Burke glasses. Oh my gosh. I thought you were Superman. You took off the glasses. I, I was fooled. Oh, no, yeah, no. Oh. No, I'm going to be doing the pigeon later, though. Well, this is a good, that's a good lead in, though, for the box we're going to show this week, right? That is a good one. This is one I've been sitting on for a while, Ooh, but, but it like was broken. Egg. It was broken. It was broken. Uh, it says, my lunchbox is broken. I've wanted this lunchbox Ain't for a gonna while. Ain't going to walk again. Ain't going to walk again. You know, I wanted this lunchbox for a while, and it's usually one that is a little pricier. A little bit of this. I found this one fairly cheap because it was missing the top handle. Mm -hmm. Now, if you watched our Allentown video, Allentown Toy Show, there was a Super Powers lunchbox that was missing the entire back panel. Yep. Didn't have a front. Back panel. It was just an empty. Uh, yeah, it was just a, just a shell of a of a box. The, the, the door that opens up was gone. So I made the guy a deal. I said, "How much? What's the lowest you'll take for this thing? Because I'm going to throw it out. I'm, I'm buying it for parts. He, the lowest he would go was seven bucks. But I was able to get that and secure um, a handle and repair this ba, 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 Superman ba, ba, ba. the movie lunchbox ba, ba, ba. Christopher Reeve 1978 Superman the movie lunchbox can you read my lunchbox mind? can you eat my lunch <laughs> do you know I where love this I lunchbox I am, I, am. Ding -dongs. <laughs> I am so jealous of that you have this one this is one that I I, I, I really want to try and find. And yeah. I don't think you initially paid that much for the box, right? No. Without the handle. It wasn't no, that because this handle was completely missing. And by the way, it's the same handle. It's a red Aladdin handle. Uh, the Super Powers lunchbox also had a red Aladdin handle. Probably made a uh, few years after this one was right. made. Because this was 78. Yeah. And... So it's... Uh, Powers probably like 80. Completely, completely repaired that handle. So. Yeah. And it's easy to do. It's an, e it's an easy fix. So yeah. if you have a broken lunchbox at home with a missing handle, you could always find a cheap one and then do what Joe did. And then you have your uh, lunchbox fix. I mean, it's still not like a mint lunchbox, but... No, but that's, that's in pretty okay. good shape, except for like the weird... You have the word 50 written on the side for some odd reason. I don't know why. Oh, yeah. 50. Yeah. Maybe, I, bet you, oh, I bet you before lunchboxes were collectible... Somebody sold this for fifty cents at a flea market, and then somebody turned around and sold it to me for much more. Oh, definitely, I bet you yes. that's what happened. Yeah, which is annoying that they just wrote fifty on there, like right. Yeah. So, yeah. all right. Well, let's take a look at this lunchbox. Yeah. First of all, Superman the movie. I love this movie. One of one of my all time favorite movies. I, Superman, Superman, two. We've had a lot of good Superman. Um, I don't really like his movies, but. I think Henry Cavill's a good Superman. I think he's well cast. I, yeah. I don't really like the movies he was in, but I think he's good. Have we had... Uh, I think the list of good Supermans... I mean, who's really that bad? I'm Kane? not crazy about Dean Cain. Dean people Kane. love Dean Cain. There's people who love him. I'm not crazy about Dean Cain. No. Uh, I really like Tyler Hecklin, who's playing the role now on the CW on S Superman and Lois. Yeah. Tom Welling was pretty good for what he did, you yeah, know, sure, yeah. Superboy in the yeah. 90s, uh, Tom, Chris, Gerard Christopher. Yeah, Gerard Christopher. Of course, the original, uh, the, well, the, the originals, Kirk Allen in the serials and George Reeves on television. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know, we've had some good Supermans, but, yeah. but Christopher, Christopher Reeve, Reeve though. he's the icon. He's the, oh, yeah. he's the, the best, I'd say there's only one person who challenges Christopher Reeve as the, maybe the most iconic superhero. And it's a numbers game. It's just a numbers game. I, I might say Hugh Jackman, because Hugh Jackman played 
Wolverine more times than anyone else has played a superhero in movies. Like, in, in terms of the number of movies he appeared in. Like, sure. the, the well, record yeah. goes to Hugh Jackman. Yeah, but look at... You know, Robert, Robert Downey Jr. is up. I, he's I, he's I, I, right I, behind yeah. them. Yeah. yeah, so I don't know. Yeah. Chris Reeve, he only did four. But, but my God, that, what a legacy. Yeah. Four and mentioned in Supergirl the movie. Yes. Supposed to be in that. He backed out of it. The original <laughs> script. Smart movie. I th well, I think the movie would have made more sense if he'd been there. If he had been there to explain things to her, like, hey, welcome to Earth. Yep. My name's Not Clark dropping Kidd in here. on those two guys. Right. Uh, with the well, Lover's, Lover's Lane. Lane <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no Supergirl lunchbox. No. No, uh, no Superman 2 lunchbox, but uh, because Superman 1 and Superman 2 were filmed basically back to back, you do get General Zod. Yeah, there's Jor-El Jor and, and uh, condemning, of yeah, condemning justice. Them. Yep. <laughs> Holding them in. Um, the vote must be unanimous, Jor-El. You and you alone. You alone will condemn us, and you alone will be held responsible by me. By the way, in Superman, when um, when Jor-El is walking away, yeah. and they're going to the family. Oh, yeah, zone, I know what you're going to go. And he says, going. he says, you will not die before me, Jor-El. Both you and then one day, Jor-El. Your ass! You thought he said your ass. I thought he said your ass. And the funny thing is, that's why I thought as a kid, our friend Marshall, um, our friend Marshall Hicks, who hosts the Boys and Ghouls podcast, he thought the same thing. Yeah. And we didn't know him as kids. We met him like... It's know, like one of those like misunderstood right. lyrics. Did you think he was saying your ass as I a didn't kid? really think about it. No, well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on this side, here's a kid who has quite a legacy with the Superman movies. Uh, we got the kid, young Superman, holding the car up. Uh, did you do you know that the boy, the actor who held the car up? Do you know what his legacy is with the Superman movies? He's been in three Superman movies. Yes, I, he was in the Superman Returns, right? No, Superman three. Oh, he's in Superman three. Is he at the beginning? At the beginning, he's the kid who puts the coin in the photo booth That's oh, while yes, Superman's yes, changing yes, and yeah. then Superman comes out and hands him the picture and yeah, like and you know rubs one. his head yeah, yeah. Um, so it's the same kid who held the car up he's in Superman 3 yeah. then he appears again in Man of Steel as the army soldier who comes in and says they're all calling him Superman so there you go look at that pretty cool yes there you go that kid what a legacy legacy Superman legacy uh, and then you got Marlon. You got Marlon Brando on this. This, is like, this might be the only lunchbox that features Marlon Brando. Well, yeah, Marlo, the Marlo Island of Dr. Brandon. Moreau lunchbox yep. did not get made. There he is, reading his cue his cue cards. Uh, yep. They're hidden in the in the spaceship. So that, yep. that, 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 yeah, that's yeah, that's when he was looking real. down at the baby. Yeah, <laughs> there was cue cards there, lying on the baby. Yep. Yep. And here we have Superman flying through space. It's, that's kind of a weird one. No, that is a weird one. It's not super that. exciting. It's just a baby in a pod. I guess yeah. he's telling the whole story. The, the you know, or the wraparound of the lunchbox is basically like this whole Krypton journey. Do you know what's interesting? That really, this is Superman. This is a Superman lunchbox, and there's really only one shot of Superman on the entire lunchbox because on the back we don't. Well, we sort of get Superman on the back. You get we get Clark Kent Clark. at the Daily Planet, and, and on, the, on newspaper, the newspaper yeah. we see Superman. Yeah. So. Really, if you want to see Superman in costume as Superman, you've got the newspaper and that, and that's it, which is a, an odd choice. Maybe maybe instead of the kid flying through space, you put but Superman. But it's like his journey to and where he lands. Yeah, the that's whole wraparound, I feel like there's, there's a nice theming with that, but then you do miss out on a lot. Like there is like the, Lex like, Luthor there's no Lex Luthor on yeah. this lunchbox, and I wonder if that was like how like... like <laughs> The mom from E.T. wasn't allowed to be on any of the merchandise. Right. D. Wallace. Because everybody wanted yeah. a T-shirt with the mom from E.T. Yeah. E. Caped Wonder, Stun City. You do have uh, good likenesses, though, on, on the uh, Lois Lane and, and all the actors and stuff like that. Yeah, if you ever wanted yeah. a lunchbox with Jackie Cooper on it, this is the one. This might be the only Jackie Cooper lunchbox. This is probably the only Mark McClure lunchbox. This is probably the only Margot Kitty, Kidder lunchbox. And Christopher Reeves. You know... Terrence Stamp? Terrence Stamp, yeah. Yep. Glenn Ford. Glenn Ford probably wasn't on a lot of lunchboxes. No, no. Who played the mom? Who uh, played Ma Ken? I don't know. Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah. Or Jeff East. He got screwed. He didn't get on the lunchbox. Yeah. It is an exciting lunchbox, though. 
look at that. Metropolis. Love that. Love it. Love it. So we have a thermos. There is a thermos in here. Look at that. Let's see. Do we have a name? Is there a name? We haven't had a name in a, lot, a long time. No name. Clark no name, Kent. but this is one of the ones that has like the instructions on how to use a lunchbox. <laughs> Put the food in me. <laughs> here's the, here's the, the, no, this, the thermos has seen better days. We have, there is a, um, you got a lot of, um, Superman, Superman on that. There's you got him changing. Spaceship is on here. Yeah. Yeah, there he is, tearing open the shirt while a, a pimp says, hey, Jim, that's a bad outfit. That's a bad outfit. Uh, there's Mark McClure, Margot Kidder, and Jackie Cooper. So there you go. Superman 1 I enjoy, but I think I enjoy Superman 2 even more. Superman 2 is definitely the more quotable of the... <laughs> the smell test on this one is weird. It smell like kryptonite? No, I, it's got a distinct smell. Oh, Jesus, God! Oh, what is that? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, oh cover <laughs> that up. Oh. I want to eat soup out Thanks of this. Thanks greatest criminal mastermind. <laughs> Oh, what have you put in there? I don't know. I want to go, I want to fly around the earth and <laughs> come back <laughs> say, you know, say do smell. not smell that thermos. <sighs> yeah. See, you do have that in that movie, too, where he flies around the earth, reverses time. Oh, yes, he yeah. does. Yeah. Um, that, uh, that, that works, too. It is funny that you got General Zod and, and, and Non and, and Urso in there, but who are the villains in Superman, too, but... Lex Luthor is not. Lex Luthor is not on this box. Right. It must. Be, you think it's a Gene Hackman thing? Maybe. Uh, it could could be uh, some stipulation in his contract. I don't want to be on lunch boxes. I, I don't know. I, we did. Is Gene Hackman on any other lunch boxes? Would he be in any, on any other lunch? I don't think so. But, but like you referenced it, we did uh, at a convention once hear a Q and A with D. Wallace Stone, who played the ET, the, the mom in ET. And she claimed that she got a percentage of any merchandise. She negotiated to have a percentage of any merchandise with her image on it. And that's why none of the merchandise had her image because they didn't want to have to pay her. They just put the kids on it. And you and I uh, from the crowd said, no, they didn't put her on the merchandise because no kid was like, I really want a lunchbox with E.T.'s, the mom from E.T. on it. Yeah, she's not on the E.T. lunchbox. Right. I don't think we, have we done the E.T. lunchbox yet? No. Oh, all right, well, uh, we're going to have to save that one. We're not going to talk about that just now. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get back to that again. We'll get back to E.T. So, yeah. yeah, there you go. Superman the movie. It's exciting. The, the, the movie that I think invented the modern superhero movie. I don't think we'd have Avengers Endgame if we didn't have Superman the movie first. It's the one that opened the floodgates, you know? Because Superman the movie got Batman greenlit. It, it took him years. Batman was in development hell for 10 years. I mean, Joe Dante was attached to it at one point. Bill Murray was attached to it at one point. But they spent 10 years trying to get Batman off the ground because of the success of Superman. Right. Then the success of Batman really opened the floodgates because that's when we started getting the Shadow, the Phantom, the... Ninja I mean, Turtles the, movie. Yeah, Dick Tracy, Ninja Turtles. I mean, the, the superhero explosion really began in the 90s after Batman. Mm -hmm. And um, and that's where we've been. Yeah, you're stuck with it for the rest yeah. of our lives. Constant superheroes, superheroes. You blame the the this late the right. late Dick Donner who just passed away this year. May he rest in peace. Yes. <sighs> the Goonies, which had no lunchbox. Goonies had no lunchbox. That's right. Damn shame. You, you know, a lot of people were talking about Dick Donner when he died. Everyone yep. says, "Oh, Superman, the Goonies, Lethal Weapon." One thing a lot of people didn't mention. You do you know what famous television episode Dick Donner directed? Was it Amazing Stories? No. Oh. You're close, though. Anthology series. Twilight Zone. Terror at 20,000 Feet. William the, Shatner. The original episode. Yeah, William Shatner. There's something on the wing. That was uh, Dick Donner who did Superman the movie. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to, when he died, you wanted to like remember him by watching something, but you didn't have two whole hours, but you had 25 minutes. Right. Twilight Zone. There you go. Mm-hmm. Things you learn on the Lunchbox Bunch. It's the not more, just about Lunchbox. The more you know. Will NBC ding me if I put the, the more you know shooting star in here now? I'm, do, do, do. Am I allowed to do that? I'd probably. Yeah. I'd put something else. Just go, boop, put something else weird in there. 
There you go. Like that... some other kind of like star thing. <laughs> now you gotta look up something weird. No, I got weird things. He's got weird. He's got lots of weird. Got all sorts of strange up in this. I'll have to I'll have to ask you when the camera's done shooting if there if I used one yet. There's there's one image I got in the bank. I may have used it already. I don't all remember. Right. Possibly. Possibly. Raggedy Ant. Raggedy Ant. <laughs> Raggedy Ant. Yes, yes. yes. Raggedy Ant. I'm glad Raggedy Ant made it into into our lunchbox bunch of videos. <laughs> so everyone else out there who watched it, the twenty two people that watch the videos can and we're probably the guy who gave it the thumbs down. Yeah. 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 Isn't yeah. it always weird that we get, the, they get like uh we get like a handful of thumbs downs, which yeah. means do you think people just like see it and then they just thumbs down and immediately like I don't, the irony is, is the irony is it doesn't make any difference because it's it counts as the a thumbs up and a thumbs down counts the same in the algorithm. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's like oh this guy's getting engagement, so you I don't know yeah. you're, you're helping us out giving us a thumbs down. So hey, give, give, give us either one. Give us either one. Thumbs down. It doesn't matter. You're not yeah. gonna make us go. We got lots of metal lunch boxes to talk about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there you go, Superman. Uh, what if what if you put? Um, let's see. Here's the thing. This this is made of. What is this? Is this, what kind of metal do they use? Uh, uh, is it aluminum? Well, probably aluminum. It's a shame if it was lead. Aluminium. You could, you That's could, how the British people say. Aluminium. <laughs> if the, if it was lead, you could put a chunk of kryptonite in here and be like, "Hey, Clark, well, here's so your kids. lunch." You would die. The kids would die. Yeah. 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 And then Clark would be like, "Oh." I, uh, you know, I didn't have all the ingredients of the kryptonite, and I... Uh, what if a kid had a lead-lined lunchbox? Uh, Richard Pryor when he tried to make that kryptonite. <laughs> what, if, what if a kid had Just a lead-lined lunchbox, and, yeah. and Superman, as Clark Kent, was walking down the street and tried to use his x-ray vision and couldn't see through it and then knew it was lead, yeah. and he had to stop the mom and warn the mom... That, that lunchbox is going to be hazardous to your kid's health because it's lead light. And then the mom's going to want to know, how do you know? Yeah. And he can't be like, well, because I can't see through it. Because, because, I'm, because I'm a pedo. <laughs> That's how he knows. And then he gets arrested. There you go. Yep. So, Superman. Keep eating those ding-dongs. Now, is this, we don't, is this one before or after Dragon Cut? This is probably... It's probably after Dragon, after Dragon Con. Con. So I, I, you had a good trip, right? Oh, man, you wouldn't believe the kind of trip <laughs> My I gosh. had. What about when that guy said that thing to you? Oh, that guy. And you took a picture of this. Oh. Boop! That was crazy. Yeah. Now, this is all contingent whether he doesn't die from... <laughs> Let's hope Joe survives Dragon Con. Uh, so, yeah, and hopefully we'll get a couple things we, down there that we can use here mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. so all right i don't know and you you're not going so we're gonna have to use cut-ins we're like that yeah. show something and then we cut to you going yeah. wow, reaction shots like what a lunch wow, box that's the greatest thing i've ever seen what a great find you can do it right there just like that exactly. even though you'll be in the shot you'll have to crop yourself out <laughs> <laughs> why is he in the shot with him if he's talking to him yeah all right well uh till next time Right? Yeah, keep eating those dingy ding dongs. Dingy ding dongs and uh play the cornhole. Play the cornhole. But -da -bum -bum -bum. Go right into it from that. Keep wearing those pajamas with the plastic feet. Keep wearing those pajamas. Tell everyone to be. Keep wearing those pajamas with the back door flap. Keep wearing those pajamas. Don't open it to trap. Some people call them bitches, some people call them jammies They can come embroidered with big money and no whammies They can have a hundred tiny commander and damas But no matter how they look, just keep on wearing those pajamas Keep on wearing those pajamas Keep wearing those pajamas And now we're having fun Keep wearing those pajamas And now the song is done